Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. Today we're going to be talking about something pretty wild, uh, AI-powered drones in the military, specifically these uh, loitering munitions. They're basically drones that can just kind of hang out in the air and wait for the perfect moment to strike. Like a hawk. Yeah, exactly. It's fascinating stuff, and it's really changing the game when it comes to modern warfare. It is, and the one we're focusing on today is called the Scorpio 500. It's made by a company called Xtend. They're really leading the charge in this whole field of AI-driven drones. Yeah, they're a major player, and they've really been making waves lately. And speaking of waves, they just snagged a pretty massive contract from the U.S. Department of Defense, a whopping $8.8 .8 million to develop this tech. Yeah, that's a big deal. And it shows how seriously the DOD is taking this technology. It's not just some sci-fi fantasy anymore. This is the real deal. Right. This is happening now, and it's going to have a major impact on how wars are fought in the future. So what makes this Scorpio 500 so special? Well, for starters, it's the first system of its kind that the DOD has approved in the uh, indoor-outdoor category. Indoor-outdoor? What does that even mean for a drone? Basically, it means it can operate effectively in all sorts of environments, from tight urban spaces to wide-open battlefields. Oh, so it's versatile. Extremely. And it's officially designated as Precision Strike Indoor and Outdoor, or PSIO for short. Okay, so I'm picturing this massive hulking drone, something out of Terminator. But the Scorpio 500 is surprisingly compact, right? Yeah, it's actually pretty small, about the size of a large backpack. Really? Yeah, about 16 and a half inches long, 17.3 inches wide, and just over 5 inches tall. Wow, so it's deceivingly small. That's right, don't let the size fool you. This thing packs a punch. So how far can this little drone fly? It's got a range of almost three miles. Three miles? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, and it can hit speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. Zippy. But what about firepower? What kind of payload can this thing carry? Well, it can handle up to 500 grams, a little over a pound. Hmm, a pound. Well, that might not sound this much, but... You're right, it doesn't sound like much. But when you're talking about a precisely targeted strike, even a pound of explosive can do a lot of damage. I guess it's all about accuracy with this thing. Precisely. And that's where the AI really comes in. The AI, yeah, we keep mentioning that. But what role does it actually play? Well, it allows the drone to carry out those high-precision strikes with minimal human intervention. So it's basically making decisions on its own. In a way, yes. It's constantly analyzing the situation, identifying targets, and in making adjustments in real time to ensure the most effective strike. So we're not talking about those kind of carpet bombing attacks we've seen in the past. No, this is much more surgical. Think of it like a scalpel, not a sledgehammer. That makes sense, especially with that whole precision strike designation. Exactly. And remember, it can operate both indoors and outdoors. So it's adaptable to all sorts of scenarios. Absolutely. That's one of its biggest strengths. It sounds like a game changer. It has the potential to be. It's certainly turning heads in the defense world. So we've got this small, fast, precise drone with AI at the helm. What else? Is there anything else that makes the Scorpio 500 stand out? Well, one crucial factor is its endurance. Endurance. How long can stay in the air? Right, of course. Without a payload, it can fly for about 15 minutes. And with that pound of explosives? Around eight minutes. Eight minutes? That's still a decent amount of time to loiter and wait for the right moment. Exactly. And in a tactical situation, those extra minutes can make all the difference. So it's not just about hitting hard. It's about hitting smart. Precise. This is some seriously impressive tech. It is. And it's not just theoretical anymore. This thing has been battle tested. Oh, really? Where? Well, the Scorpio PSIO system is actually one of the most widely used loitering munition solutions employed by the Israeli Defense Forces, the IDF. So they've been using this tech in real world conflicts. That's right. It's got a proven track record. Wow. So this isn't just some experimental prototype. Nope. This is the real deal. And now the U.S. Department of Defense is getting on board. Seems like it, yeah. I wonder what that means for the future of warfare. That's a great question, and one we're going to explore further as we dig deeper into this technology. Well, it definitely raises some big questions. And, you know, one thing that really struck me about this tech is its ability to operate in GPS-denied environments. Yeah, we touched on that earlier, the whole mesh networking thing. But honestly, I'm still a bit fuzzy on how that actually works. Sure, it's a pretty complex concept. But essentially, imagine you have a group of these drones flying together. Like a little swarm. Exactly, like a yeah. swarm. And they're all communicating with each other sharing information, location data, all that. So they're creating their own little network, even without GPS. 
That's the idea. They become their own GPS system in a way. Each drone acts as a node in this network. And that allows them to stay on track, even in places where traditional GPS signals would be blocked. Precisely. Think of it like, mm -hmm. imagine a group of friends navigating through a dense forest. Okay, I'm with you. And one of them loses their map. But they can still stay oriented by relying on the others who still have their maps. So they're constantly sharing their positions, making sure everyone's on the same page. That's a great analogy. It's all about teamwork and communication, even in the most challenging environments. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. So they can operate in caves, urban areas with tall buildings, places like that. Exactly. They're not limited by traditional GPS constraints. And we know they can be equipped with different payloads for different missions. Right. The sources don't go into specifics about all the different types of payloads. But we do know they're interchangeable. Yes, which makes the Scorpio 500 incredibly versatile. So what kind of missions are we talking about here? Well, think about it. This drone can drift across floors. It can be launched from the ground, from someone's hand. Even from another aircraft in flight. Wow, the possibilities seem almost endless. It really opens up a whole new world of tactical options. So we've got this small, agile drone, powered by AI, capable of operating in all sorts of environments, and adaptable to a wide range of missions. It's starting to feel like something out of a sci-fi movie. It's definitely cutting-edge technology. And it's raising some important questions about the future of warfare. Absolutely. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the tech specs to the potential impact on the battlefield. As we wrap up this part of our deep dive, what are your final thoughts for our listeners? I think the main takeaway here is that military technology is advancing at an incredible pace. The Scorpio 500 really highlights that evolution, showing how AI and drone tech are merging together to create these new capabilities. It really does. And it's not just about the technology itself. Like you mentioned earlier, we have to consider the implications huh. for global security and the way wars might be fought going forward. Absolutely. Those are huge questions. And honestly, that's what makes these deep dives so important. We're not just here to throw information at you. We want you to really engage with these issues, to think critically about what it all means and form your own opinions. Well said. So let's do a quick recap for our listeners, just to bring it all together. We've been deep diving into the Scorpio 500. Right, a new drone developed by Xtend. Xtend, a company that's pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI-powered drones. The Scorpio 500 is compact, agile, and able to operate in those complex GPS-denied environments we talked about. And don't forget those interchangeable payloads, making it adaptable for a bunch of different missions. Plus, it's already been battle-tested by the IDF, and now the U.S. Department of Defense is adopting it, too. That's a pretty big deal. It suggests a potential shift in modern warfare towards smaller, more intelligent drone systems. Absolutely. It raises a lot of questions about the future of warfare and the role of AI on the battlefield. It certainly does. We've only scratched the surface today, but hopefully this deep dive has given you a better understanding of this incredible new technology. And as always... There's more to explore, so keep digging, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep learning. Couldn't have said it better myself. That's all the time we have for today's deep dive into the Scorpio 500. Until next time, everyone stay curious 